Dr. Anita Clayton, David C. Wilson Professor and Chair of the Department of Psychiatry and Neurobehavioral Sciences at the University of Virginia in Charlottesville, Virginia. I'm an author on the paper entitled, The International Society for the Study of Women's Sexual Health, Process of Care for Management of Hypoactive Sexual Desire Disorder in Women, to be published in the Mayo Clinic Proceedings. The International Society for the Study of Women's Sexual Health, or ISWISH, invited 17 international panelists representing multiple disciplines to develop a process of care, or POC, algorithm for the management of hypoactive sexual desire disorder, or HSDD. The algorithm was developed using a modified Delphi method to reach consensus among the experts on evidence-based guidelines for the diagnosis and treatment of HSDD in women for use by healthcare providers, including primary care providers without sexual medicine proficiency or experience. This is an important skill set for providers to develop, given that HSDD affects 10% of adult women and is associated with negative emotional and psychological states and with medical conditions such as depression. The guideline starts with the provider initiating a discussion about sexual concerns, screening for low sexual desire and associated distress, perhaps with a questionnaire, such as the Decreased Sexual Desire Screener, or DSDS, and distinguishing between generalized acquired HSDD and other forms of low sexual interest. A biopsychosocial assessment of potentially modifiable factors facilitates initiation of treatment with education and management of these factors, such as relationship problems, comorbid other sexual dysfunctions and medical conditions, and medications and other contributing substances. If there are no modifiable factors, or if they've been addressed and the HSDD continues, additional therapeutic interventions may be indicated. This includes sex therapy, for example, cognitive behavioral therapy and mindfulness-based therapy, and prescription drug treatments, guided in part by menopausal status. These medications include central nervous system active agents, such as flibanserin, approved for treatment of HSDD in premenopausal women and found effective in postmenopausal women, and hormonal therapy, specifically off-label testosterone, which has been demonstrated superior to placebo in postmenopausal women with HSDD. Additional CNS agents used off-label for HSDD in both pre- and postmenopausal women are bupropion and buspirone. Finally, scheduled follow-up and assessment of adverse effects and treatment outcomes is recommended. This POC means healthcare providers, by following the algorithm, can feel comfortable addressing sexual dysfunctions in women, particularly HSDD, and a significant problem in women patients impacting quality of life can be effectively addressed. So please review the ISWISH process of care algorithm for a rational, easy to follow, evidence-based guideline for healthcare providers to utilize in the assessment and individualized management of HSDD in women. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.